folks, how are you doing today? Just doing another update on my hydroponics and what's going on with the tower and all that stuff. And I thought you know, take it in and have a look. You know, I've had a little bit of rain here and got some downy mildew on the leaves of my cucumbers. Um, I'll sort that out. And prune off the bad ones and sort that out. We'll start off here with me capsicum. Looking pretty good. Looking nice. Flowers on there. Down in here. Nice capsicum. And it seems to be growing. Growing really well. Looking really good. I'm quite happy with that. Cucumbers, well, I'm going to pick my next lot of cucumbers today. There's a cucumber there. A cucumber there. Cucumber there. So what's that? Two, one, two, three cucumbers so far. We've got here. There's another big cucumber in there. Two cucumbers there. about it for the cucumbers. I'm going to pick all them and weigh them up and let you know how much I got out of this lot. The last pick I got was um, two kilogram of cucumbers. So we'll see what they weigh up. I might pick them in a minute. And my lettuce is coming along quite well. After the sparrows ate them back to nothing. So they're actually coming up pretty good. The um, head on this is starting to form, it's starting to get solid. So, it seems to be growing well. Now, these lettuces are iceberg lettuces. So, yep, you can grow iceberg lettuce in hydroponics. So, yeah, they're growing quite well. As for my tomatoes, well this first one here is starting to come back. I know what I did wrong and it was pretty silly is I overfilled the bucket and basically drowned it. Same as the second one. The second one's doing the same but I'll learn. I'm going to change all this and have a reservoir with all these buckets joined together so the buckets stay at the same level all the time and I don't have to worry about drowning them but as you can see they've got some nice tomatoes coming along on here really good tomatoes now I've pruned over half the leaves off all these Another one, these are Dutch buckets, you just put the nutrients in and that's it, you don't have to worry about it by trellising and making sure they don't run out of nutrients, and also drowning, unfortunately, I learned my lesson, so this end one seems to be going the best, got some really nice tomatoes going on. Nice little batch there. Oh, there's another cucumber hiding down in there. So, that's basically what's happening at the moment. 
uh, these two end ones, which is a bit of drama, but it happens. But what I want to show you is with this pipe. With this pipe, you got to always watch it drain. Oh, there's another cucumber down there. Another big cucumber down there. So, with your drain pipe, and it's draining. As you can see, you see the roots going down into the drain. Eventually, it will clog up the drain. So, what I do is get my end in there, and I pull it up, and break them off. So, that sort of clears the pipe up. So the water can drain. Both so things might be taken off. And then you sort of write for a week or two. And you can go again. And that's my reservoir. Put the air pump under there. Air pump in there. It's running four outlet. Four outlets into the water there. I need to fill it up again. Drain the big dry there. So, got a heap of water standing by to go in there. All those water drugs out there. So I need to put all them in and away we go. So that's my update. Everything's going well. I'll pick these cucumbers and do a little video on how much I got and what it weighs and all that stuff. So I'll leave it at that folks and have a nice day and I'll see you next time. See ya. Okay, just pick the cucumbers. And we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight cucumbers. I weighed it in and it weighs in at three kilos of cucumbers. Now, with the last lot of cucumbers I picked, we're up to five kilos of cucumbers of three plants. So, I'm pretty happy with that. And we're still going, so we'll keep it going and see how many we get to the end of the season. But, yep, I'm happy with that. Okay, folks, have a nice day, and we'll catch you next time. See ya. Don't forget to subscribe, comments, help me, whatever. Just enjoy. See ya.